One of the areas of CRM that's seen a lot of improvement since version 2011 is the ability to work with products, the ability to create them, the ability to uh, attach them to opportunities and to work with them in quotes and orders. So let's take a quick look at what that looks like right now. And let's scroll down to the product line items. So first of all, you can do inline data entry now. What that means is without having to pop open a separate form for every line item, I can add items to this list. So I'll select an item from the list. After a second, that will come up. It's been added to the list now and I can directly edit this in line without having to go back to the form all in one place and it's updating everything in real time for me. So that's the first thing. I added all of these items using inline data entry. It made it very easy on me. Now the other thing is I have a lot of flexibility with how I now work with these. First of all, you can see that this particular item I just added is defined as a bundle. A bundle allows me to bring in a list of items under one item. So I key in one item, it grabs all the items that go into that bundle and it has additional options. In this bundle, you can see this desktop computer. It requires an LCD monitor, a desktop computer, a keyboard, and a mouse. All of these items are optional. If I scroll through these, you can see I cannot delete these from the bundle. I can't change their pricing. The price per unit is zero because really they're all included in the overall bundle price. But the bundle also included this carbon fiber 3D printer and that is actually an optional item. So it can be uh, priced separately, discounted separately, different quantities selected, or I can choose to completely remove it from the bundle and the remainder of the bundle still remains intact. So I have more flexibility with bundling things together. I also have properties that I can associate with items. So properties is almost a separate little data entry form you can add for certain items. So if you have uh, some items that might have a different design pattern or color or quantity or other attributes, maybe personalization, that doesn't really change the price, that doesn't really change the SKU, but that are designated by the customer at the time a purchase is made, you can define those as properties and allow those to be entered at the time that it's captured. And another option I have is this idea of suggestions. So you can see for this monitor, I have some suggestions. If I click on the suggestions hyperlink, I get this pop-up and I can see that there's items that could be cross-sold, none in this case, but there's accessories for it, such as a light bulb in this case. I can upsell to a different type of product altogether, or I can substitute products, maybe if my inventory is low for that particular product. And Microsoft in the latest version of 2016 has even introduced some cross-sell automated machine learning intelligence. So it watches for cross-sell patterns and will automatically create cross-sell recommendations for you based on purchase behavior of other customers. So a lot of great new functionality in how you handle products and how you rapidly do data entry with a lot of flexibility for both the end user and for the customer.